Hey everybody and welcome back to another Kraken Packs video. I'm your host, Mr. Bevers. Welcome to Eternal Masters Box 1. Some very, very good cards, and there's also some very, very expensive cards. Uh, not always the same thing, but more often than not, um, if they are expensive, it's because they see a lot of play, because they are very good. However, some of them are also very expensive just because of the limitation of the number of cards that were printed originally, that kind of stuff. So, let's just jump right in. We're just going to go ahead and just get right in here. Now, these boxes are um, a little different than a normal box. Um, they only have 24 booster packs, I believe, um, instead of the 36 normally found in a box of boosters. You can see here that it kind of got a little, looks like it got a little mixed around here. We got a pack sideways. Also not the best storage, you know, like, it's a nice display and everything. But, uh, it uh, doesn't really hold the cards in the best fashion. Um, so there we go. That's all of them right there. Now this is my first my first of three that I'll be opening. Uh, I'm only going to do one tonight on Twitch here. Um, but uh, the others will come. They're actually uh, in the mail. Uh, I had to order, I pre-ordered them from a game shop that's not really local to me per se. It's close, but it's, uh, it's a bit of a drive, so instead I just had them ship it to me. Um, and hopefully they get here okay. Uh, and in time. I got the shipping notice already. Uh, and, the, and the other reason, I mean, the reason I pre-ordered it from that shop is because they were actually selling the pre-order at fairly close to the MSRP. Um, I'm in Canada, so the, the price is already a little bit ballooned compared to what you pay in the States, uh, just because of shipping and conversion and that kind of stuff. So, um, they were 300 a box, um, which is not horrible, but, uh... Let's just get right in. Um, I'm gonna go fairly quickly. I know I sort of know which commons I'm looking for. So we got a Juggernaut, uh, a Thunderclap Wyvern. Okay, so our first rare is a Malicious infect uh, Affliction. Not a terrible card. Um, and our first foil is a Blossoming Sands. Um, I've heard a lot of complaints about the foil, uh, or like the inclusion of these lands in this box. And just a Goblin token there. Um, just because uh, we literally just had these lands were in cons. And so, like, do we really need them again? Not, not really. There's so many other dual lands that come in tapped that they could have reprinted with new art or something to, to make them interesting, but instead they didn't. Uh, I think that guy we're looking for, yep. Necrotol. Interesting little two one for four. Second rare is a green sun zenith. Pretty pretty okay card as well. And our next foil is a dead bridge shaman. Dragon token there. Little two two. 
Let's, uh, we're separating commons and uncommons here. If you're just joining us, welcome. I'm uh, into my first three packs of Eternal Masters. I haven't opened any before this. Um, this is uh, box one of three that I will be opening uh, over the next couple of days. I'm sort of pulling out any of the commons that I'm looking for as well as uncommons. Oh, and there's a wasteland. That's a ni nice card. It's coming down a little bit in price right now because of the reprint, but other than that, I mean, it's just a nice card to have. Uh, that's my first ever wasteland, so that's nice to have. Um, that guy's going to get a sleeve right away, like, so I'm just going to go ahead and put him right in there like that and our foil here is a benevolent bodyguard which is not terrible and we got a, a surf token I'm oh and oh one zero one surf token The, uh, these boxes are very um, volatile with their price b due to the fact that the price is so high right now and a lot of places are charging much over the MSRP for it, um, which is unfortunate. But uh, the other thing that's interesting about it is that you know, like you can you could get open a box with like no mythics in it uh, in twenty four packs. And you get like nothing. You get like maybe half of your value back, maybe if you're lucky. So it's very. It can be bad. It can be bad. So we got a. Oh well. Okay. So we've got an inkwell leviathan, which is nothing super special. But we got a foil sa a swords to plowshares. That's a nice pull. Like that's that's a pretty decent price right there. A little ring a ding ding, you know. So you know, can't complain about that. That guy will get a sleeve as well. We'll keep going here. Another squadron hawk, we need that. Armadillo cloak. There's a brainstorm. Always nice to see. Prismatic lens. And a death rate shaman. So, I mean, like, uh, I have uh, probably, I think I already have a playset of death rate shamans, as well as I already have a foil death rate shaman from. The, uh, from the original Ravnica set. Um, and our foil there is a commune with the gods. Uh, I'm going to try and get this video uploaded to my YouTube channel later uh, in the coming days. I have literally nothing up there yet, um, but I'm going to try and start getting all of my m magic unboxings up there. Um, so there's a whole bunch of stuff I've done unboxings of a large number of stuff. There's, there's a Days. Alright. Not foil Days, but it's Days nonetheless. And a Toxic Deluge. And our foil is a Mog Fanatic. A lot of interesting tokens in uh, in these packs. A lot of tokens I haven't seen before, which is kind of interesting. Shaman of the Pack, Mesa Enchantress, Relic of Progenitus, nice, that's a nice uncommon. There's a, there's our first mythic, okay, so we got a sneak attack. Uh, not like the, not like the priciest mythic, obviously, from the set, but, uh, n you know, pretty good, nonetheless. And we got a foil brawn. It's not uh, terrible. He's a probably a couple bucks. So far, not a terrible box. So far, not a terrible box. I think we've probably got about, you know, somewhere in the sixty to seventy dollar range worth of cards. I guess the wasteland itself is like about sixty bucks. So we're probably we're probably almost at a hundred. Let's, let's say let's we'll say close to a hundred bucks. 
Flamekin Zealot, another sword to plowshares. Can never complain about that. And a Baleful Strix. So there's that guy. This guy's a neat little card. Um, a 1-1 one, one Flying Death Touch with uh, for 2. That whenever he when he enters the battlefield, you draw a card. Holy moly. Okay, so we got a Foil Mythic. <laughs> but I don't know... Let's just take a quick peek here. So, I mean, like, we got a foil Maelstrom Wanderer. Uh, so, I mean, that's a foil mythic, which is cool. Um, but he's a little bit, uh, you know, not, uh, not the, uh, not the, not the best mythic that you would want to see foiled, but still a foil mythic nonetheless. So, I mean, he's going to have to get a sleeve, right? Not the greatest foil mythic. Definitely not. There's definitely other foil mythics from this set that you would rather have, like Jace, uh, Mana Crypt, uh, Dak, uh, Faden. You know, there's a number of things. Counterspell we're looking for. Morphork Looter. Siege Gang Commando. Nice little uh, goblin guy there. So he's a 5 cost 2-2 two, two goblin, but uh, when he comes into play he puts 3 one ones in with him. So for 5 mana you get 5 power and toughness, and you can pay 2 and sack a goblin to do 2 damage, uh, which is kind of nice. And then our foil there is a deep analysis. Um, for the YouTube video, I will make sure that I put up the prices and things of things as we go along, you know. I'll, I'll make sure that it uh, gets tallied up somewhere on the screen here. And we'll see if we manage to get our value out. Ooh, a Pyroblast. It's nice. Ooh, a Gamble. Alright, so Gamble's a nice pickup. Um, I built a deck around Gamble a, way, a long time back, um, like a really long time ago, uh, and I think, the, I think it was only like 6 or $7 for Gamble at the time, and it was too expensive for me to put four of them in the deck, so I just made proxies for it, and I was like, uh, you know, I kind of was like, you know, this was obviously years ago, so I mean, I was not super, uh, uh, I wasn't working at that time, so I didn't have a lot of free funds, is what I should say. So we got a foil, a battle, uh, Beetleback Chief. The, uh, the tokens in this are really weird, but neat. There's a lot of different tokens that I've never seen before, which is kind of cool. Um, and I'm guessing that's probably because they pr had to print a whole bunch of new tokens for this set to make up for cards that were making tokens before they started making tokens. Um, a nice Bloodbraid Elf there. It's a good card. Nice pickup. <laughs> Regal Force. Don't think. Well, I mean, yeah. Not bad. Not a, not a bad rare. Got a decent price tag with it, but uh, nothing crazy. And we got a foil Borderland Marauder. That's not what I want. I want this guy. Let's make sure we stay on top of things here. So there will be two other boxes of this open, just not today. I haven't got them yet, so I don't know when they'll be here, but uh, when they do get here, I'll, I will be doing unboxing videos for them. Annihilate, Burning Vengeance, an Enlightened Tutor. Nice. It's a nice card, too. It's a pretty good uh, pickup. Okay with that. And a Foil Nimble Mongoose. Actually, I think that guy... This is worth some dollars, from what I recall seeing. Which is interesting to me. 
Uh, let's just go take a quick peek here. Uh, he's what, a common? Except some here. Yeah, this guy's $10. It's a $10 nimble mongoose right there. It's interesting. He can have a sleeve. But he gets just a lowly green sleeve, though. That guy can go there. So we got a foil swords to plowshares already, which is kind of nice. And we got a foil maelstrom wanderer, which is also, you know, foil mythic. I'm glad that we opened a foil mythic in this pack, but w I, was I wishing that it would be, you know, a Jace or a, you know, a Mana Crypt or something like that? Yeah, of course. Of course I was. Nice little chain lightning there, too. And we got an Arcanus. This guy's very good. I like him. Oh, that's not bad either. Okay, so Peregrine Drake is worth uh, some dollars as well, and it's foil, so... There's another nice little pickup, probably. I'm gonna guess another one under, you know, sub... Sub $11. So we'll put a little green sleeve on that guy. Elvish Vanguard. It's the first one of those we've seen, which is interesting. Goblin Trenches. And an MSC Tome foil. Nothing amazing. We're about two thirds of the way through this box. Um, and then we'll cut it, and I'm going to do a recap on stream as well. Just another Paragon Drake and another Elvish Vanguard. This pack was pretty good. I can't believe they reprinted those dual lands from cons in this. An Imperious Perfect, very good for your elf deck. And we got a Foil Plague Witch out of that pack. Just seems silly to me that they reprinted those dual lands from cons. Another Curd Ape, that's a good one. Nature's Claim. Prodigal Sorcerer, man, I remember this card from way, way back. Mishra's Factory is a good pickup as well. And we got a Dual Caster Mage. We got a foil rally the pre peasants. All right, so now we're on to the last third of this box. The last third of this box. We're gonna try and blow through this and keep our YouTube video fairly short here. Flame jabs, a good card. Timber watch elf, man. Okay, we've got another. Here's our second mythic, and by that I mean third mythic. Is it third mythic or second mythic? Was our first mythic a foil? No, we have sneak attack. Yeah, okay. I, I was like, I'm pretty sure. So we got three three mythics in this box, uh, which is from what I'm hearing about average. Okay, and our full and our rare foil rare from this box is a. Let's see if I can read that name. Neva, <laughs> Neva Nero's disc. So that's a, if you want everything to just die, there it is. Blow up all the things. Mind you, not Planeswalkers, but that's because this card was around before that that existed. So we'll put that there like that. Our two foil rares together. And these are kind of in the way here, aren't they? Innocent Blood. Another Counterspell. It's good to have. Havoc Demon. Mystical Tutor. I don't know if that one's worth much, but uh, let's go take a peek-see here. 
So not bad. Another another eight dollar rare. And our foil is a Civic Wayfinder. So we can go like this, and just kind of just gonna reposition some of these here so you guys can see them all. There we are. The crack packing sound. It's one of my favorites, you know. It's one of my favorite things. This is a squadron hawk. So how did you guys all do? Did you guys go out and draft this set at all? Did you buy any at your own? How did you do? Did it work out well for you? Did it not work out well? You know? We've got an Icarid there. Oh, there's a nice pickup. That's a nice pickup. That's a foil counterspell right there. It's a nice thing to have. There's a little... We'll put that guy in a sleeve right there. It's not terrible. Not terrible. I hope you get one with Denny Walk. Demi... Denny... Denim Walk. Denim. Denim Walk? Let me make sure that I get that the words correct. Brawn, Burning Vengeance, Future Sight. Oh, a foil blood raid elf. Um, I I don't know if this is worth anything. Um, but we'll find out. But uh for now it can kinda just go there. Uh, I think that's gonna have to get a sleeve as well, but I don't I don't know. I know its price went down a lot when it got banned, so... But I feel like it's probably not terrible. It's probably got a decent price tag connect, uh, connected with it. So, Wonder. We got a Jareth here. And a Foil Curd Ape! Wow! Our foils are actually doing work here for us with this box value. Can't be blocked if your opponent is wearing blue jeans. Man! Unglued and unhinged were like some of the craziest cards. And, and also, Full Art Lands uh, introduction was in that set, which is interesting. So, I mean, like, I think we've pulled probably all of the. Uh, all of the rares of value out of this. We've only got two packs left. We've got a foil nature's claim there. But um, I think we've pulled all the value out of this box that we're going to see. Um, which is, you know, unfortunate. I would have liked to have a Jace or a Mana Vault or a Caracas. But I mean, I got my first Wasteland. I've never had, I've never owned a Wasteland, so I can't be super complaining, you know. I feel like Firebolt is worth something. I'll have to look that one up. A Factor Fiction. Another Misha's Factory. A Giant Soul of Fuge. And a Foil Carrion Feeder. So, last pack. Here it comes. Here it comes. Let's see how well we can do here. Does the last pack have something for us? A little treat, maybe? A little, a little thank you for playing? Hmm. Probably not, eh? Silvos Rogue Elemental. And a foil... Oh, wait, that's not a foil. A foil Ballynock Cohort. So that's that box. I don't know. It's gonna be iffy. I'm gonna have to, uh... I'm gonna have to do some cal punching of numbers and see what uh, some of these commons and uncommons are worth um, to see if we got our value. But we definitely didn't get our value via rares and uh, foils, I don't think. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, anyway, for those of you tuning in on YouTube, thank you very much for watching.
Have a great time. And I'll have another video here as soon as I get my other boxes. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe the video if you enjoyed this. I've been your host, Mr. Bevers. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in the next video.